first thing comes to mind. What is Titan? Can you tell us? Uh, Titan. How are we supposed to know about that? You, the media is not supposed to know anything about that. It's our next gen MMO, and uh, we've only started talking about it in a limited fashion because we want to leverage the fact that we're working on something like that for the purpose of recruiting, getting some of the best talent in the industry on that project. That's actually an answer that I kind of told us something about. It. That's very cool. Um, what are you excited about tonight? Just anything. Uh, Could yeah. be the hors d'oeuvres. Could uh, be the drinks. Yeah. No, honestly, it's really exciting for us to be nominated in a few categories for StarCraft II. We really felt like yeah. uh, we did a great job with the StarCraft II project, and so it's it's good to know that other people feel that, that that's true. Um, you know, I don't know if we'll win anything, but uh, we're excited to be here. And, oh, best of luck on that. Happy party with everyone. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Um, Warcraft movie. Anything on that or nothing? Nothing recent, right? I mean, we um, we announced that Sam Raimi is assigned to the project, and uh, I think we've got a screenwriter assigned to it. I, his name escapes me right now, but um, you know, we we partnered with Legendary to do the film, and it took us a long time to find the right partner to do a Warcraft movie. We want to make sure that whatever we do, whoever we partner with, is going to maintain the standard of quality with yeah. that experience yeah. that we apply to our games. And so with Legendary, we feel, feel like we found that partner. And so they've got a sword uh, for their logo. That probably yeah, helps. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna take the time and make sure that uh, that experience measures up to the standard of quality and that there are games to it. It'll probably take longer than average, but you know, it'll That's be awesome. worth it. And okay, aside from Blizzard games, which obviously you have got kind of a bias for, what? I mean, I don't know why, but <laughs> what are what are you excited for otherwise? Any any games you you really enjoyed this year? Uh, you know, the Bioware. Star yeah. Wars MMO looks looks like it's really interesting. That's pretty cool. Um, you know, I, I wish I had more time to play games. I barely find the time to play the, yeah. the Blizzard <laughs> games. Uh, we, we're immensely busy. I mean, this is the first time we've launched two products in one year since 1998. It's fantastic. Yeah, so we've been really busy with that. And back in 1998, we weren't hosting the BlizzCon and... The Battle.net platform didn't have the same expectations of it that our fans have. Right. Fans. Well, back it was 56K, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. It was just yay high. Um, what about the, the StarCraft has an expansion pack coming out next year. That's uh, What's the story with that? Uh, it's called uh, Heart of the Swarm. We don't have a specific announcement in terms of when it'll be available to the fans. We'll take our time, make sure it, it's right. Um, the storyline for Heart of the Swarm is going to focus on Kerrigan and the Zerg and, and really... Her journey now that she's been, you know, recovered by Jim Raynor, it's a lot of lore stuff. Oh, wow. Very cool. Yeah, but I mean, you know, we, we've done a lot of really cool stuff delivering the storyline in the context of a real-time strategy game, and uh, we're going to continue that with Heart of the Sword. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for your time, and, and best of luck. Hope you guys you. do well. Take care.